and River State Governor Similai Fubera has warned that any outgoing local government chairman in the state who hurts any well-meaning Rivers person will not be forgiven. The governor pointed to an event that happened where miscreants attacked some persons who attended inauguration of the Aleto Rogale, a Bubu Eto Road project on their way home, and said such a show of animosity was utterly needless. Let me also say this here. When we left Aleto the other day, some people went there and attacked our people. There's no need for it. Nobody is a monopoly or has monopoly of violence. I should be the one who will even come and shout that I will do this, I will do that. But I don't need to do that because both sides belong to me. So I'm advising those people who call themselves local government chairman. You have a few days in office. Please conduct yourself. Politics will come, politics will go. We will still live our lives. Speaking on the project, Governor Fubara said that what is being done is to let the world know that his administration means well for River State and was transparently accounting for every cobble that had been received. Road is being constructed by our internal generated revenue and 50% of that cost has already been paid. We are people that are transparent. We are a government that are ready to serve. We are a government that thinks about the people. This road is a 33.3 kilometer road that has a bridge. It's a road that will connect the Kore, Onuawa, and Abuabema. Flagging off the project, Senator John Azutu Mbata, who represented Rivers East Senatorial District in the National Assembly, described the dual carriage road project as the type within the capacity of the federal government to award, but now being done by Governor Fubara. 35 kilometers or 32 kilometers of dual carriage highway is not a child's play anywhere in the, in the country. This is the kind of project that only the federal government has the capacity to do. We have seen your bold initiative to accomplish it. As we were coming, we could see the concerted effort of the contractor just two weeks after the marching order. We are encouraged and we believe that this project will be completed on time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.